There are several differences between the Model 876 and the Model 778 in their consumables and in the assembly and installation. We will discuss those in the next few minutes. When unpacking the paper deck for the Model 778, notice that there are no thumb screws attached to the top. You do not attach thumb screws from the paper deck to the main copier engine when installing. On the Model 778s, the black and colored toner cartridges are exactly the same size. Please take special notice when installing, as they will fit in any slot. The slots are color-coded to assist in this operation. The four developer rolls for the Model 778 are identical. They will fit in any of the developer roll slots. Inside the box will be the second exit unit itself, as well as a baggie containing two small hex nut screws. In order to install the separate paper exit accessory on the Model 778, this panel located above the right-hand copier door will have to be removed. The panel has been removed by simply removing the, the white screw holes from the back and using your Phillips head screwdriver. You will also open the, the right-hand copier drawer by lifting on this handle. With the panel removed and the door open, this is how the copier will appear. You will also have to remove a screw from this hole, which is in the back panel, which we removed to install the second paper exit. You will have to remove two screws from this panel and their screw hole covers. After removing the screws from the white panel and the screw in the back of the panel, move it to the right, exposing this screw on the gray covering. Remove that screw and the covering will pop out. Once the panel is removed, there are two black flags that must be removed before continuing to install the second exit. These black flags are removed by putting your finger in the middle and popping them loose as they come off. After removing those two tab flags, this flag at the end of the bar must also be removed. To remove this flag, you simply pull the slot towards you with your fingernail and remove it. Install the second exit accessory so that the pin on the side of the accessory goes into the hole at the top of the right hand corner of the machine and the screw hole on the left hand side of the second exit unit lines up with this bracket on the left hand side of the machine. Note that when correctly installed, the guide pin goes into the hole. The bracket on the right hand side lines up with the screw hole on the right hand side of the unit. And the bracket on the left hand side lines up with the screw hole with the metal divots going through these first two tabs. Lastly, we will connect these two cables into the connectors on the side of the machine. Leave the back of the white panel loosened for easy reinstallation of the cover panel when you have the second exit accessory successfully installed. With the second exit accessory now successfully installed, replace the white panel and replace all screws and screw hole covers.